What's up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the AOSIP Dirt Face ROM which is the 14th July 2019 built on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and how is the ROM holding up? Well this is as you can see 22nd July so I have been using it this ROM for a couple of days now and I have to say the ROM has been like serving me pretty well and let me show you the about section quickly. Here as you can see this is how the about section looks like. We have the Dirt Fest logo up top and Android version is of course 9 Pi as you can see. And over here you can see the build date and stuff. It's the 9.0 Dirt Fest and Violet is the device name for Redmi Note 7 Pro. And here you can see the build date 14 July 2019 build. And the security patch is of latest July 5th 2019. Here is the baseband and stock kernel is the Pixel Plus kernel. Well, I have flashed this ROM with micro G apps with the like Peter Steele Bradbury recovery and this is encrypted by the way if you don't know and if you go into system one disappointing thing you may find is there is no like system updater or like OT updater over here that's not simply present if there is a new update for this official ROM you have to like flash it manually with it Bradbury recovery just like dirty flash it. And inside Owl's Nest we have all the customizations but before I show you those here is how the stock launcher looks like. Well yeah we have a pretty basic camera by default but I do have ANX camera over here which I have installed manually and you can simply flash the ANX camera zip from the description box below you will get it and flash the 48 megapixel fix 2 from the description on top of this zip from like TWRP or Magisk if you have that. So flash the two zip files if you want to like enable portrait mode working. Here let me show you I have installed ANX camera and it's been working fine. We also have the portrait mode working over here even the 48 megapixel like option works after flashing the 48 megapixel fix. We also have the Memoji on the latest version of this. Let me just show you over here as you can see if you tap over here and tap on this one as you can see as I'm talking you can see my emoji over here or the Memoji and as you can see it has multiple options like iOS so it's pretty good I would say it works pretty fine and uh, as you can see it opens the mouth if you do that so it's pretty good this works fine and by the way you can install Google cameras too if you want to I have installed the Google camera and it is working fine too since we have camera to API by default on this ROM and I'll also link this Google camera IPK in the description box below so do not worry just install that it will be working fine in this ROM and by the way let me just show you the stock launcher to the left we have the google now cards of course and if you go into the settings this is how the stock launcher or the launcher launcher settings looks like you have the gestures option so double tap to sleep on the home screen anywhere is there and you have a bunch of customizations on this launcher you can just double tap like this and it will just like lock and as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty fast over here in this rom no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner at all in this rom it is blazing fast and PUBG gaming performance is pretty fine I'll let me show you the settings which you get over here so from here as you can see you can play PUBG on balanced and ultra settings you can go smooth and ultra also and there is HD and high but no ultra for HD and of course there is no HDR and also there is this like black borders over here on the notches side so that's how it is on this ROM let me just go back to home let me remove all the apps from memory and let me show you some more things and by the way Google Pay works like right away out of the box so you don't need to worry at all regarding Google Pay working or not in this ROM and over here DRM info shows as level 1 let me show you as you can see the security level up here shows as level 1 so you can pretty much stream like uh, Amazon Prime or Netflix videos if you have the subscription for it like totally on 1080p so no worries about that and as you can see we have the status bar brightness sliding option and it works flawlessly over here no issues whatsoever with that let me go into the settings and by the way you can change these quick setting toggle styles over here as you can see looks pretty dope you can disable heads up if you want to you have bunch of options for this which i'll show you later on let me go into owl's nest settings and here you will find the status bar settings so from here we have bunch of options like battery percentage can change the icon to queue style or whatever you like you have the big dotted circle too so that is really great carrier label is there clock customization is there for the status bar and status bar icons are there so that you can enable the headset bluetooth etc icons and vaulty icon shows as valid in the AOS IP ROM so yeah that's how it is and you do have the call recording option in the calling 
so that is really good and video calling option is there too and also network traffic indicator is there but i would say it sometimes like doesn't work or sometimes like i can't really use the network traffic monitor app which i use normally the internet speed meter it doesn't simply like working over here and this network traffic sometimes shows sometimes it doesn't so that's how it is and here we have the notification ticker quick settings we have the like quick setting panel customization we have white brightness control buttons so that you get like these kind of plus minus buttons and stuff and we also have the expanded option let me just increase the brightness one more time again and we have the like vibrate on toggle touch animation style etc options for the quick setting tiles and let me go into the notifications we have the ambient music ticker heads up disabling option and also other notification option and battery indicator or the like led notification led option and inside navigation option we have the allow navigation bar of course and navigation mode you can change it to smart bar or fling and if you disable the navigation bar you can enable the navigation gestures which is the swipe up from right or left to go back option and let me just show you if you go into the stock settings you can invert the layout as i did like as you can see my back button is to the right side over here right now so you do have the option to change it to the right and you can also change the portrait height of the like navigation bar and also we have the pulse option for the navigation bar so that is really good and inside like hardware buttons we have the reboot advanced reboot etc options let me show you that we do have the advanced reboot as you can see it's there let me go back and here we have the volume panel customization we have the volume steps and stuff and here is how the volume panel looks like you can just like like expand it over here and you can control whatever volume you need like media notification or whatever volume you want to control and inside recents we have the like recent changing option to pi or audio we have the icon pack to over here and inside lock screen we have the like status bar status text on the bottom and clock widget and stuff is there you can change the clock style to text and it will change the android q of course and q alignment is there so you can change the clock to center right or left let me show you the lock screen clock as you can see it is like showing like android q and it looks pretty dope i would say it also shows the temperature and stuff as you just saw we do have face auto unlock over here in this rom fingerprint unlock is there but as the rom is encrypted you have to enter the pin after you reboot otherwise it will just show that the system is loading or stuff like that and quick unlock is there so that you can enter the pin you don't have to hit the right so it just unlocks the device so that is really great now let's go into gestures we have the asp gestures and over here we have the activate torch by long pressing or like long holding the power button on the lock screen it will just toggle the torch so that feature is really helpful and swipe up home button is there you have the double tap to sleep if you use the navigation gesture or stuff like that and brightness control and three finger screenshot is there it does not scroll and takes the screenshot pretty quick so it's really useful double tap to sleep on the lock screen and status bar as well is there and inside advanced settings we have the like in call vibration options and stuff also blink flashlight on call is there like me UI so if you're like user of that you can like make a use of that and inside display settings let me show you we have the night light it works fine as you can see it makes the display yellow is not a like really amazing feature it stays like in most ROMs so that is how it is let me just go back and display cutout option is there so but it looks really ugly do not try it and double tap to wake is there let me just try it if it actually works as you can see it works so double tap to wake does not have any issues and you can disable the wake up on plug if you need to and ambient display and ambient music ticker options are there you also have the always on display and stuff if you are willing to use it you can use that and we have the device theme light dark changing option and we have the black af theme and accent colors we have the these kind of like material palette colors and the user requested colors for the accent colors and here you get the quick setting toggle styles and as you can see these looks pretty awesome over here as you can see lot of options you get for the quick setting toggles and this is a pretty amazing feature i would say and we also have the font changing option by default the font is in like roboto but there are plethora of options for the fonts the whole ui fonts you can change it to whatever you like and if you go into sounds let me show you that we do have also vibrate for calls normal option and you can disable the sounds like screen locking sound and stuff and also we have the dirac or the mi audio dirac you can enable it if you want to and you can set it to youth edition or whatever headphones you have and i would say the sound output via the headphone jack and also bluetooth over here in this rom is pretty amazing not at all bad but not as good as mi of course 
and talking about the battery life i would say the battery life isn't like really a uh, insane part of this rom as you can see i got around 4 hours and 40 minutes of screen on time almost and i still have 45 percent juice left so i would say the battery life is pretty like good you can definitely get seven hours of screen on time almost so no issues like no huge issues regarding the battery life it's not too good it's not too bad do not get me wrong that it's bad or something it's pretty usable and it's pretty decent i would say i did not use the battery saver with my usage so that's how it is and also in the battery settings it shows the battery temperature if the device gets hot and with normal daily usage i would say i did not face any like issues with like getting hot the device is getting hot or something like that so no issues like that present in this rom now let me show you by opening some apps how is the ram management and the app open up speeds over here oops let's open facebook now let's open twitter now let's open play store instagram youtube now let's open spotify now let me open all the apps from memory again and this is the 4gb ram variant by the way and as you can see all the apps stays in memory and the memory management over here is pretty decent as well all the apps are in memory and the app of animations are doing pretty good job so no issues whatsoever while daily driving i could find in this rom and i can definitely recommend you guys this rom and usip dirt faced wallpaper is there looks pretty dope i would say and i am using this rom for almost a week i never found any kind of huge issues or like random reboots or stuff like that anywhere in this rom so this rom gets a really big thumbs up from me thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn deck signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now